My last work day before the wedding. I lined up this great shot of me ordering coffee at the Dunkin' Donuts drive-thru and picking it up. I didn't hit record. So all you saw was um, me driving away with some cash in my hand. This morning, I am at Magnolia Pier. Uh, I come here to write and to meditate. It was one of my father's favorite fishing spots when, when he lived in Oceanside. My father would get up sometimes four in the morning so he could uh, get some fishing in before he would get on the train and go to work. My love for the art, uh, entertainment, music, movies, television, and art itself, my father was an artist, came from him. My father would spend time showing me books on Picasso. My father painted. We'll have to do a, a retrospect of his work. He was a really special guy. He was my hero. Today I'm writing the dedication page to the book that's coming out, the Doodle Book. and so. Uh, he plays big in that because, uh, you know, when other kids were out playing sports, maybe I should blame my dad. Full disclosure, I pretty much suck at sports. <laughs> but I was playing guitar or I was, and when I was playing guitar, I was writing songs or I would be drawing or I would be sitting down on a Sunday morning with my dad to watch whatever old movie was on TV. Um, uh, you know, he just instilled that and he had great stories about his time in television. He spent most of his time in television news, but he did spend some time on a show called The Ken Murray Show, which was like a variety show. And he had interactions with um, actors, and singers. I believe he asked the actress Catherine Grayson out on date and she said no. So dad, thinking of you today, especially right before the wedding, I know you would love Eileen. And um, I know that if you and mom were alive and Eileen's dad and mom were alive, you guys would probably get along famously. So as I raise my cup of coffee to you, I wish everybody out there peace and love. See you soon.